So next up, Grade 2 event, the Bristol Novices Hurdle, race 20 on your card. It's over three miles, so number one is Bucko for Martin Leadham, two occasionally cast on for Hems, three Return of the Royal for Joshua Southern, four Shafgan Thirsty for David Led, five Taken James Shea, six is Tamanko Gift for Darren Thompson, seven is Gloria for Joshua Sutherland, and eight and nine are Sword, Storm Witch and Saul Bearer for Leon Van Rensburg, so the big players in here. To challenge for this Grade 2 event. Flags dropped. They're away. We're going to see what happens. I do know that uh, Josh has, uh, I think, placed Gloria in here to be a pace maker for his other return of the Royal. And, uh, and Gloria seems to be doing his job. A bit of an Aiden, Aiden O'Brien tactic. And it's Gloria that leads them over the second of the 12 hurdles. Takes it well. Poor jump of the rear there by the grey, occasionally Castle. But it is Gloria bounded off into the lead to give a good pace for Return of the Royal, looking for his third win in a row. So it is Gloria that leads us from Taken, Bucko, Tomenko, Gift, and Return of the Royal, leading the first pack and a length and a half back to occasionally Castle on Shafgan Thirsty. And just at the rear, two Leon Van Rensburg horses, Sword Bear and Storm Witch. Only unlikely they'll be there as we come into the final furlong and a half. But it is glory up, although the jockey's taken a little bit of a hold. Might be uh, pace setting a little bit too quick here for his stable mate. But it is glory up. By about six from Tomenko, Gift, Bucko, take and return of the roll. On the outside, Shafgan, Thirsty, David Robertson, the grey occasionally castle for Hems, I think. And then just at the rear, the Leon Van Rensburg machines of Storm Witch and Sword Bearer. Swing left handed now for the first time, come down the hill. Another complete circuit to go as we come past the first part of the grandstands. Gloria being pushed along again, keep the pace up. Maybe a bit like the old Formula One, there's probably somebody uh, from the stables along the rails with a board saying, Speed up, slow down. But it is Gloria that leads by about 10, I suppose, over the fifth. And his stable mate in second, return of the Royal. Tomanko, Gift and Taken, Shafgan, Thirsty, Bucko, up against the fence of the Grey, occasionally Castle, and Sword Bearer and Storm Witch. So inside two miles now, it's still Gloria that leads us Go past the stands. Head on back out, the circuit. of the Royal, Bucko in third, taken against the fence is four, inside of that is Tomenko Gift, Grey occasionally Castle, taking hold, Shafgan Thirsty, the widest of all, Storm Witch and Sword Bearer. So Gloria doing his job, put in here as a pacemaker, he certainly is getting the pace along here, although uh, I know the Southern Stables think just as got as much chance as anybody else. Well, he may well have. So take the seventh. He's got himself in ex quite an extended lead at the moment. I'm losing sight of uh, Shafgan Thirsty, Saul Bear and Storm Witch. There they are. So it is Gloria. Takes the eighth. Still a further four flights to take. It's still Gloria. By seven or eight to return of the roll. Bucko in third. Tomenko Gift. Skip over the ninth. The jump by return of the Royal. There's still a mile to travel as I just go uphill now. The highest point of the course. And still Gloria. By seven or eight to return of the Royal. Bucko in third. Tomenko Gift taken. A couple of them off the bridle now. And pushed along. This leader has uh, set the pace. So we'll skip over the tenth. Shafgan first. He gave that plenty of air. So we head downhill now. Swing left-handed. Still Gloria. 
by five to the return of the roar has got a further three or four from Buckung to Manco Gift are both off the bridle now being pushed along length and a half back to Shafgan Thirsty taken occasionally Castle Stormwich and Salt Bearer still got a bit to do you run easily on Van Rensburg horses they can be 20 lengths behind and still win it and it is Gloria these leads down to about four now to the return of the Royal I'm moving well now on the outside as I said Saul Bearer makes up those lengths in no time. And it's still Gloria that leads it from Return of the Royal. Saul Bearer is now up into third. Shafgan Thirsty running on well taken, making up a bit of ground as well. And inside the final half mile, and it's Gloria being chased now down by his teammate, Return of the Royal. Saul Bearer, Shafgan Thirsty taken out wide, Storm Witch trying to make up a bit of ground. Inside three furlongs, only got one to take now, and it's Gloria. He leads down to two or three now to Return of the Royal. Have the stable mates timed it to perfection? It's Gloria, Return of the Royal running out of the pack really well now. It's Saul Bearer's well as Stormwitch to hunt down the Sutherland stable horses inside the final two and it's Gloria now being taken on by Return of the Royal as they go for the last and it is Return of the Royal that nicks in front they've done it well it's Return of the Royal from Gloria falling backwards now Saul Bearer running on inside the final Furlong going up the hill Return of the Royal from Saul Bearer Gloria Stormwitch Shafgan Thirsty but it's well timed it is going to be Return of the Royal it's going to take his, I mean, his third win in a row all set up by his stable mate Gloria Sutherland there. The return of the roll takes it comfortably in the end. That's the grade two Bristol novices hurdle here. Couple of the old Van Rensburg horses left it a bit late, but they came in second and third with Saul Bear and Storm Witch. I think fourth was uh, Gloria, possibly there, or Shafgan Thirsty. No, it was Gloria for Joshua Sutherland. Well done. And fifth was Shafgan Thirsty for David Robertson.